this is my son's request. We're gonna go to a party tonight. So I'm gonna make some pork and chicken adobo. And I'm trying to video this step by step so he can learn because he bought this, um, what do you call this? This book recipe but he said it doesn't turn out he followed you know everything step by step all the ingredients but it doesn't turn out the same as his mommy's adobo so I'm making this video for him and these are all the ingredients that I use all right till next step Okay, so the next step is just brown your, your garlic and uh, then your onions. I like to brown uh, garlic and onions and the meat for my adobo. Alright, so here's the meat. Look, I made some uh, habanero. It's <laughs> really spicy here, but I'm not gonna put that in my adobo. Uh, it's just, you know, if they want really spicy, they can just add that to their adobo. So right now, basically, I'm just browning my pork. So, see you on the next step. All right, so now you kind of brown your meat. Uh, I got my soy sauce and vinegar here ready, and this is my sugar. So basically, the ratio is two to one, uh, but it depends on your taste buds. So if you want a little bit more sour, just add a little bit of uh, vinegar. But remember, once you pour that vinegar and soy sauce, do not stir it until it starts a little bit, you know, boiling, okay? So, here you go. So, right now, you can stir the meat. It's hard to do it because I'm holding my cell phone, but here. So, now, I'm ready to put my vinegar. So, I'm just going to pour it over the meat. Okay, I'll let it simmer. I'm gonna put the lead and let it simmer, and after that, uh, I'll show you what I need to do. All right, now it's boiling, so you turn the heat down. Let's see, I turn it down. Now you can stir it. And I already put the jalapeno in. See, this is the time you have to be patient because you want to cook this in a very low heat um, for low out. I'll say about 20 minutes. And looks like see if your um, what do you call this? The liquid is you know if you want it a little bit. Color. The reason that your color is like this is because you're using a, the, your soy sauce is um, no salt, less so, sodium. So um, normally when I use when I make adobo, I use the regular soy sauce, and, so. and that's the only reason why your liquid is like that. Okay, but uh, keep that. You cook it for. Um, low temperature for about 20 minutes okay and then we'll come back all right so it simmered about 20 minutes so now i'm gonna add my potatoes okay uh i add potatoes because we like potatoes on a rebuilding board so 
Okay. And also, since this has the bones, uh, it's pure pork and uh, chicken breast, I like to add, you know, for flavor, uh, this is a chicken bouillon, so let's add that. And also, of course, I added the bay leaves earlier with the soy sauce, so. Um, and I added black pepper earlier too. Uh, and of course sugar. Um, I added a teaspoon of sugar, but it depends on your taste. Uh, I might add a little bit more later, but I want to try to taste it first because you know I like mine sweet. Um, so we'll try again later. So this time I'm gonna turn off the temperature. Okay, cover that and wait again. Maybe about 10 minutes. All right, let's check again. Mm. Smells good. So now, it's almost done. Again, I'm just cooking this in a very low temperature, okay? Or heat. So, <clears throat> Maybe I need to add a little bit more sugar. Sugar. And a little bit salt. Okay, I like my adobo with liquid because I want to pour it over my over rice. So, but you guys don't have to put you know, that much, but I didn't put water. You can see I did not add any water, just the soy sauce and, oh, Jeff is texting me now. All right, gonna go.